One of the uh, questions that comes up often in working with parts list in Blueprint is how do I modify that parts list to look like uh, the parts list we're currently using or maybe one that we want to use in the future. And the parts list should be modified from the template form, not from the executed form as we see here. So what we'll do is we'll right click on it and go to edit template and then now we can go in here and do things like add additional fields. I can insert columns, give them headers, and then go in and uh, format the cells that I would add and choose items that I want to show in those fields. Another question that comes up is how do I get Blueprint to generate my item numbers? Okay, so if we go to the parts list manager, uh, by default we do it only for mechanical components. So if you just flip this over to all components, Blueprint's going to go ahead and generate item numbers. And then we can populate our parts list with them. An alternative to this would be to import through the CSV import a parts list that has the um, the item numbers in here that come from another source and then you would just simply walk through the parsing here and then tell it basically that bin number is probably what we're going to use for our item number and once we've done that we now have that information in Blueprint and if we were to go over here to again edit our template and instead of a parts list we go out here and we find our bin number and OK and execute and now it comes from an external source. Another question that comes up has to do with uh, the formatting of the parts list itself. So right now this parts list is set up to uh, start with a left border, expand to the right, and go top to bottom. A lot of people, especially military companies, like to do bottom to top, right to left. So we can go in here and say, you know what, do two columns per sheet, uh, maybe 50 rows per column. We'll start at the bottom and we'll expand uh, to the right and uh, and we'll go ahead and execute that. Uh, before we do though I am going to move this uh, down to a better position for that. And now we'll go ahead and execute it. Okay, and as you can see it went um, expanded up, but it really didn't do what we wanted to, which is we wanted to do the numbering from bottom to top as well. So that takes a little more work. So we're just back in here and edit our template. We should always work from the template standpoint. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and um, we're going to insert some rows underneath here. Just take this one and merge them and I'll just take a shortcut here and copy that and paste it into here and then we'll go over to our formatting options center it oops center it and uh, make it bold then we're going to copy our field headers I'm just going to go through and do them all here. And uh, we'll change the formatting here to match what we had uh, up above. So we're just going to come over here and grab all of these. And we're going to make them center and bold. Then the next step, of course, is to delete this row. And we're going to delete that row. So, and we're going to delete this row. 
now we have a top or excuse me bottom to top parts list but we still need to come in and format this to work that way so we make sure that it's fixed bottom expand up fixed right expand to the left we have it set up for multiple columns we'll come over to our data source uh, we're going to go ahead and sort by parts list bin number in this case and we're going to do it uh, descending and we'll go ahead now and execute and now we have a bottom to top right to left parts list with the headers on the bottom the last step of course would be to save the template so that we can reuse it so we'll go back to edit template and now we will save this to our gallery And now we can either make this our default or we can use this anytime we want to do a bottom to top parts list.